Hey everyone, welcome to Island Ripple. We are here at the rooftop bar and lounge at the beautiful Belgium Hotel. And I am being accessorized and my wardrobe is being supplied by Wings of Love at the Dream Plaza in Rodney Bay. It is officially Creole month and we started off with fashion, but now we're gonna go into talking about the importance of the Creole language in our music. And I have here no stranger to the cameras, no stranger to uh, the radio scene. We have none other than T.C. Brown here, and we're going to be talking about all things Creole music. Welcome Hi. to Island Ripple. Hi, thanks for having me. <laughs> and um, my outfit was um, <laughs> sponsored by me, designed by me. <laughs> Wonderful. And made by Justin the Taylor, all right? All so, right. I just Big up Justin to add the that, Taylor. I just wanted to add that in as well. <laughs> Okay. What's up, TC? How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Oh, Thanks for having me. Awesome. I finally so, reached on the ripple. Yeah, yeah. you finally reached on the ripple. I'm yes. supposed to be one of the original people <laughs> and the first people. All right. All I'm right. here now. And you are here. I'm so here. when we, when I think of Creole and Creole music from St. Lucia, you come to mind because, nice. um, of course, your experience in the Calypso scene and Soka and everything, we always hear you use the Creole language. So let's yeah. start there. Why do you always or many times use the Creole language in your music? Um, for, I'm fascinated mm. by the Creole language. And I think I got that, that true liking for an appreciation mm. for our Creole language when I started working on the cruise ship. Okay. You know, and, and we as band members, we would use the Creole to communicate, right. to be unique. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to talk about something or somebody sitting next to you from another island or another yeah. part of the world. We would, we would normally talk in um, Creole to bring our message right. across. And from ever since then, I started getting more and more interested in uh, mm -hmm. Creole. I love Creole music. I love, I love all the aspects, all the aspects of uh, Creole, Creole music. The... Um, the soup feel, mm -hmm. the uh, corpas, you know, even our our lacomet hair and yes. the um, the ballet, all all the elements of it. I love it. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm always eager to go in studio and and try to create something along the lines of of Creole. Right, great, great. Because the thing is, too, I think um, Creole is something of an undiscovered sort of. Um, language, so to speak, in as much, and, and a lot of the younger people do not know yeah. the Creole language. So I think the obscene things, the, yeah. the obscene things they know, <laughs> but the actual communication. Yeah. Um, how do you think? Give me your opinion on how do you think we can sensitize our young people to the Creole? Well, like they already started it. I think the um, teaching of Creole in schools mm -hmm. necessary. Yeah. The um, more speaking amongst amongst ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, in general conversation. Yeah. And um, unlike me in my field, create more music, mm -hmm. create um, more singable topics. Yes. I remember having conversations with a teacher who would try to point me in the direction of try to sing, try to create more music for the children. Right. So that the children could, they could all sing. Mm -hmm. Because if you, if you, if you really look at a lot of the um, the Creole songs that have made that have made hits, mm -hmm. they have a lot of double meaning. Yeah, absolutely. Of, you know, yeah. <laughs> you, not yeah. straight. They're yes. not straight. Yeah. You know, um, always on that side. You know, mm -hmm. either the uh, sexual side or some part of a woman mm -hmm. exaggerated. You know, right. so um, it's important that we, we we dive into a lot more different topics mm -hmm. so that we could involve. The, um, the, the youth, they could sing along. So it could be played in schools. Mm -hmm. It could be sung in churches. It could, yeah. you know, that kind of... And that, that's my approach to, um, to music and to um, developing the, um, the um, Creole language. Awesome. So tell us about, since you talk about music, I know that there have been a couple of rhythms that you have created. So yeah. tell us a lot more about, you know, your work specifically in Creole music at this time. I've done, at present... I did the thank you to Julian, Julian Alfred. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, that was, that was amazing. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. I remember being at the square 
a part of the watch party and watching mm -hmm. and watching that race and yeah. thinking, whoa, whoa, you know, I remember getting a call from a friend and telling me, you know, you have to write something on that. Yeah. You know, and going all through the internet, I was seeing generally what everybody was saying was, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Julian Alfred. Yeah. Thank you, Julian Alfred. So I think, yeah, well, that's, that's it. But there's no better way mm -hmm. to say thank you than in Creole. Yes. Yeah. That sounds so... Creole just closes it up, you know? Mm -hmm. Messy. Yeah. Messy Juju. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I wrote the song. I wrote the Creole song, Messy Juju. The entire song is in Creole. Okay. And the, um, the next project we did was if my, my tent, Kai Sopro's tent, mm -hmm. we have the Duva Rhythm, mm -hmm. which is uh, picking up pretty nicely. This year we gave it an extra boost. You know, we... Um, we try to make ourselves available. We try to do more social media posting yeah. of our, our stuff. And the Duva Rhythm is picking up quite nicely. Um, five of our six members on the uh, Duva Rhythm and wide range of topics. Again, that's the uh, focus mm -hmm. to try to show Creole, not just the smutty side, yeah. but the ordinary living and the uh, general things that you know, um, bother us and the mm -hmm. things that we live with. Mm -hmm. And that is the idea behind the uh, Duva Rhythm. Okay, so it's called the Duva Rhythm. Duva Rhythm. All Keep right, Duva all rhythm. right, awesome. And in regards to, I mean, we are about to close off June Creole, like this Creole um, month, this Creole yeah. Heritage Month. How can, you know, as a musician, a producer, how can that music continue past this season that's, um. that's, oh boy, that's, <laughs> that's a million that's a million dollar question yeah. it's a general it's a general problem we've been having not just with not just with creole music mm -hmm. like calypsos as well as yeah. if our you know our attention span for a tolerance right if you want to look for a word mm -hmm. for our own music is is pretty short it's very short yeah um and I don't know, you know, literally um, a lot of people shut off after they gone full their belly on Sunday. They drink all the drink, they yeah. eat all the Creole food, they do all the Creole lime. Mm -hmm. And come Monday, Tuesday, back to regular back programming. Back to regular, yeah. You know, um, we just have to consume it regularly. We have, mm -hmm. to, we have to be Creole. Creole is us, mm -hmm. you know. It's not, it's not one month. Yes. It's, it's really who we are, you know, mm -hmm. and... It's only by consuming it more, and that's when we could really, you know, see how effective it is. Awesome. So we know that there are, of course, a whole other generation <clears throat> of musicians, of producers. I mean, of course, there's always the, the talk of the very popular Denry segment, mm -hmm. which, of course, they use the Creole language, but, of course, with the double meaning. Mm -hmm. So in regards to the upcoming uh, musician, the writer, the producer, what would you tell them in regards to how would they be able to develop their version of positive <laughs> real music that can actually be consumed and that can actually, you know, be played on the radio you, on a regular basis? You know, I, the youth have always had the mind of their own. Yeah. And, and really, they do a lot of what they do from this standpoint, you mm -hmm. know. But what, what I can say is they, there's lots of other topics. Mm -hmm. You know, how many times can we, can we bend down? <laughs> how many times? How? Really? Really and, really and truly, you know? Um, yeah. How many ways you could tell us to, um, to bend down, or especially a woman, you could tell her Marty. Right. You know, yeah, in other words, yeah, yeah. how many times you'll tell us Marty, you know? Mm -hmm. I think um, we, we just need to expand our, our, our thoughts a little more mm -hmm. in terms of our topics and um, what we write about. Mm -hmm. And I think we'll, we'll, we'll see, uh, you know, we'll have a better product in okay. terms of better music, more positive vibes, mm -hmm. you know. So we just have to be a little more broad with our, 
with our focus and our scope in music. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So what's next for TC Brown in regards to, you know, more uh, creation of rhythms, more yeah. creole music? What can we expect um, from you? Staying, uh, staying connected. I think that has been my, um, my biggest you know, um, how will I say it? My biggest gift is staying connected. Um, mm -hmm. Push nothing, force nothing. Mm -hmm. Allow it, you know, allow right. everything to happen. I think I'm a pretty good place. Mm -hmm. um, when Creole is over, we then start to prepare for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. You know, I get into that Christmas mood. They have, they have several Christmas songs, and I start to put them in the public space again. Mm -hmm. Then um, right after Christmas, we will get into independence. Independence, yeah. And the clock goes on and on and mm -hmm. on and on. Right. So I'm just staying, um, staying connected, staying focused, and um, really not forcing anything and doing what I do, which is music. Okay, so where can the people get their hands on the Duva Rhythm? It's online. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's all mm -hmm. over the place. Mm -hmm. um, we've made it available. Uh, we made it free download. Mm -hmm. you know, it's on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, play the music. Um, send out the music to your friends. Yeah. You know, um, download the music. Like the music. Yeah. That's the only way it, um, it will develop okay. as a Lucian and become a Lucian product. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Mr. Brown, yeah. thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, thanks for having me. On Island Ripple, and yeah. we know we will have you again. Awesome, yes. Yeah. Somehow or Wonderful. some way it's going to happen. Wonderful. Great to be here. Thank you. Awesome. So we come to the end of another interview on Island Ripple. Be sure to follow us on all our social media platforms and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Cut TV. Remember, um, for Island Ripple, a little knowledge goes a long way. Pass it on because that's the ripple effect. We'll see you next time.